Hey everyone, it's Kelsey aka Real with Mrs. B and I'm back to stuff our cash envelopes. So we have cash envelopes for our sinking funds. I just find it easier to have that cash instead of having multiple like checking or savings accounts. It just uh, gives me, I guess, ease of mind and then we keep it in a safe at home. So uh, ones that are not being contributed to today are the Xbox Live because I've talked about in the past that my husband has um, some cards that he got for Christmas that... Um, he can use to extend his Xbox Live, so we really don't need to contribute to this. So that is staying the same. Next is beauty and clothing. Uh, we used up the money of this this month for like getting my husband shoes and things like that. So we just don't need to put any more in here. It has $47 in it. So um, going on to the ones that I am contributing to. First up is Amazon Prime. It is due in July $100. And today I am putting in $10. So that will make this $40. So we are on track. We'll be fine come July. We could pay it in one month really because $100 is not going to blow our budget. But it is nice to just save that money. And then once it is July when it's due, we'll just take this cash out and deposit it into our checking account. So it is ready when um, it is pulled out. All right, next up is health and dental. We just have $25 to contribute to this month as we use some of this earlier. So this is $230. I'm gonna to talk to my husband about a cap amount for this. We are saving up for, in case I don't have health insurance um, or our health insurance stops for the summer because I'm a teacher and I have a contract through June, so I don't know um, my next teaching job when we'll have health insurance or what we're doing per se. So there is a possibility that July and August we'll have to pay out of pocket for that instead of getting it taken out of my income. So $230 in there. Next up is gift money. We use a little bit of it, um, but we have $40 to put into it, making this $87. So all I'm doing is just writing on the back of the envelope how much we're contributing and what the new total is. And then I put it all in this money bag that we keep in our safe. It's really nice. I got it off of Amazon for pretty cheap. All right, next up is cats. We use some money to get some food already for them and things like that. So we only have $5 that we're contributing to it. So there is $90 in there. Next up is computer that we are saving for. Um, and we are putting $50 in here. Making that one $296.53 because there's actually like a Visa gift card in there. Um, so that's for my laptop's already kind of going um, and I use it for everything. So we kind of need it. Um, lastly is entertainment that I have $10 for. Now it only had a dollar in before because we used some money out of it. So it has a whopping $11 now. And that's for like movies and things like that. So, all right, the last envelope that we have is car maintenance. And actually when I took, off, took out our cash for this month, I did take out $200 for car maintenance. And the day after I took out cash for this, before I was going to film this, um, my husband found out that, um, well, he had a flat tire and he went to go get it fixed and they found that the tread on the other ones weren't very good and one of the tires couldn't be fixed. Um, so we went ahead and got him new tires and uh, so I had to take the $200 and then an extra like $70 out of here to go ahead and pay that. But let me tell you, it was so awesome just to take the money out and go pay in cash. We didn't have to worry about anything. I mean, there wasn't even like a second guess, like where are we going to get this money from? It was very nice to have the money and be able to pay. Now I did ask if we could get a discount for paying in cash, which I think you should always try to do, but they didn't have that. But um, still a pretty good deal. It was a lot cheaper than getting new tires for my car. It's like half the price. 
because uh, this car is much older. Um, anyway, we do have $417 still in here. I feel really good about that because, you know, we both now have new tires. I just had an oil change. She's got an oil change this week in tire alignment. Uh, so we are good on money in here. feel real good. So we might actually cap this off at like 500 and then just leave it at that. So that is all of our cash envelopes. If you are curious how I put it into everydollar.com, make sure to watch my upcoming video on our February budget um, report card. I will be putting it in as like one transaction on everydollar.com that is split that goes into all of my envelopes. I do not track um, how much is in each envelope on every dollar. I show it as an expense and then I track it on the back of my envelopes. I just find that easier instead of having to put in multiple transactions on everydollar.com. So go check that out if you're curious and uh, let me know down below if you have any like other envelopes that I don't have. I'd be curious to know what you are saving for in the future or if you have any suggestions. And as always, if you haven't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will catch you all soon in my next video. Bye.